Hi, all viewers and all subscriber. Today, my video is about horse power. That how horse power is related to what? Or we can say one horse power is equal to 746 watt. In today video, I will prove how one horse power is equal to 746 watt. So let's start. Is the name represent horse and power? First, uh, let me tell you people that what's the history be behind the name horse power? Why this name horse power was given to the unit of power? Actually, whenever a unit is standardized, so there is some specification are taken. Like if we say the unit of length is meter, so one meter is the length of platinum iridium cylinder kept at the international bureau of the weight and measure near Paris or France. Like we say, the unit of mass is kilogram. So one kilogram is the mass of platinum iridium cylinder placed at the international bureau of weight and measure near Paris or France. Or we say one second. So one second is the vibration of 91, 92, 63, 17, 70, cesium-133 atom. So similarly, the standard was taken for the unit of power, that is horse power. A horse was taken basically, here if we say a horse was taken, a horse that is an animal, so that animal was taken and through a pulley, here horse was taken, and through a pulley, a mass was attached, and that mass was 75.6 kg. And this mass was raised through the pulley, with the help of pulley and this horse to a height of one meter and time taken was one second time taken was one second and this power was calculated when this power was calculated this become equal to 746 watt the same experiment was performed by an engine and that engine was given this weight. The engine weight, uh, the engine mass was 75.6 kg. And similarly, that when rise for one second, the height was one meter. So that standard is was taken that the unit of the power is horsepower. Basically, watt and horsepower are both its unit. But horsepower is a larger unit and watt is a smaller unit. Like we say we have different units, milliampere, microampere, kilowatt, megawatt. This is another phenomenon. We will discuss that in some other video. Why some units are taken negative? They are, they are given negative sum multiple. And why some unit they are given positive sum multiple like kilowatt, megawatt. So this was taken as a standard. How we prove that one hertz power is equal to 746 watt? So we have the unit, the equation of power and that power is equal to work done per unit time. Rate of change of work done is called power. So, and work done that is equal to Fs. So this will become power is equal to F s multiplied by T. F s or divided by T. Sorry. Whenever a body is taken uh, against gravity yeah, in the direction of gravity, whenever gravity is involved, so force is equal to weight and that is equal to m g. 
So this force will become force uh, power is equal to m g s o or divided by t. As we know that the mass is a uh, seventy five. Sorry, this mass is seventy four point six kg. I am correct. I am correcting myself. So if we put this value here, so this power will become seventy four point six. And the uh, gravity, we can say it is ten, and uh, time is one second. Uh, time uh, and the distance is one meter, and the time is uh, one second. If we multiply these value, if we multiply these value, we would get seven forty six. Seven forty-six kilogram meter square. Meter would multiply with meter, and this would become meter square per second square multiplied by second. So whenever these units, these are simplified, so it will become equal to what? So this. We prove that how one half power is equal to seven forty six watt. Second, we can prove it by another method, and that method is uh, we can say R. We have different uh, unit, like we have SI unit, we have FPS system, we have CGS system. So in FPS system. One half power is equal to five fifty foot pound per second. And if this is FPS system, FPS system is ba basically British engineering system. And this we have foot, pound, and second. So. In this system, one half power is equal to five fifty photo per second. If I convert this foot into meter, this pound into newton, so this will take the form: one feet is equal to zero point three zero four eight meter, and one pound. Is equal to four point four four eight newton. So if I plug in this value in this equation, it will become one half power is equal to five fifty into uh, we would three point zero four eight meter multiplied by four point four four eight newton. Divided by second. So if we multiply these three values, five fifty with this five three zero four eight, and then multiply this with four point four four eight newton, so it would become approximately seven forty six newton meter per second. A newton meter is the unit. Its unit is joule. Joule, so it would become seven forty six joule per second, and joule per second is equal to watt. So one half power, it would become equal to seven forty six watt. So in today video, in today lecture, we discuss how one half power is equal to seven forty six watt. We prove it by two methods. One by one by how it was standardized, and that was by taking a hard by experimentally, as we discussed earlier. And second method, we prove it from British engineering system. That is, we can also call that system as a PS system. So, in the two method, we discuss how. One half power is equal to seven forty six watt. Hope you like this video. It was informative for you, 
If you like this video and it was informative for you, it increased your physics knowledge. So then please do subscribe our channel for video and conceptual related topic, topic like this. Thank you.